Okay, so there's, there's been some problems happening in Russia, right? So there's been all kinds of problems with the Olympics. Uh, first of all, they're killing stray dogs. Nobody likes that. They're very, <laughs> un, very unfriendly to stray, the home. Stray cats are down with it. Stray yeah. cats are cool. Oh. Well, they, yeah, got, they, they got cat they class, they got uh, cats though. A couple of gold albums. <laughs> uh, they also have problems with terrorism. They also have problems with shitty accommodations. All their people who are reporters who are in Sochi are talking about how shitty they're, they can't even get water in their hotel. No TVs. No TVs. No light bulbs. No light bulbs. <gasps> yeah, they can't watch the Olympics. Can't, <laughs> yeah. They can't even read about the Olympics. Yeah, right. Can't, 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 watch, can't watch the Olympics, can't read the paper about the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. so things aren't so things aren't good hmm. in uh, Russia. In fact, um, I saw the uh, one reporter said that there was no water in his hotel, and they said, when the water does come on, don't put it on your face. <laughs> and now Bob Costas has opened the Olympics with a giant sty. He's got a giant he can't, sty, Can't Bob open Costas. his left eye. Can't open his eye. No. Yeah. This is all true. Can't wear his contacts. Yeah. So uh, and that's a reporter's bread and butter, his contacts. <laughs> 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 so anyway, there's a lot of problems happening in Russia, and uh, who thought, who would have knew, who would have knew, who would have thunk it that they wouldn't go smoothly in Russia? Yeah, uh, I'm stunned, <laughs> shocked. <laughs> stunned, huh? Everything, they're so uncorrupt. So uh, I actually got uh, Putin on the phone, President Putin on the phone, and I recorded it. And I got here, there he is right there, but I recorded it. <laughs> so let's listen to it, let's see if we can hear it. Let's see, uh-oh, uh here we go. Now, uh... I see Pre President Putin. Uh, Please call me Vladimir. Uh, okay, Vladimir. Listen, things don't seem to be going so well. Uh, Everything is under control uh, <laughs> in Sochi. Well, I got the guy. Everything is going to be just fine under control. Uh, well, you know, the NBC News. We have Cossacks patrolling the streets. We have, you have what? Cossacks. What are, what are Cossacks? Cops? The semi-nomadic uh, Quasi ethnic group in Russia, they wear big hats. Uh, they were used as sort of henchmen in Tsarist Russia, but uh, we brought them back to provide security. <laughs> so there's no problem. No problem, come play your games. Oh, okay. Come play your games. Slide downhill, is safe. <laughs> But, uh, you know, Richard Engel... Come play in snow, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of problems because uh, Richard Engel, the NBC reporter, said that anybody who comes into Russia, as soon as they open up their laptop or turn on their cell phone, they get hacked, that the government of Russia is hacking into their stuff. Well, does she have Norton or McAfee? <laughs> I mean, you should make sure all the software is updated and that you normally should not be a problem. It's not different from Starbucks or Panera. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. It, it, that I'm told this is the government uh, the internet. In Russia, know. Wi-Fi logs into you. <laughs> no, even if reporters, and I understand the gay, you guys passed a law that said you can't advocate for gay Best up to step up to I don't like to talk about but, this case. But that goes for even even people who are visiting, right? If they, they could get arrested because it's against the law to speak, uh, advocate for uh, LGBT, right? Look, if people want to visit Russia, Sochi for Olympic Games, that's fine. Just don't be gay while you are here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that does. It seems a little Neanderthal, a little backwards, no? But the point is everything is safe. Uh, the snow, the powder is ready to go. The luge has been lubed up, very slidey, skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiles, okay. snowcat, chase scenes from James Bond movies. It will be going on. Sochi 2014, leave the dream. Krugovaya Boga, Pravda, Ruskaya. They, I don't know what the fuck. But. Okay, so everything's working out in Russia because it sounds like there's a lot of problems, a lot of terrorism happening. No, 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 no. But I heard it's been really bad. There is not any kind of credible threat from Chechnya. 
Nothing about any bombings at the Olympic Village plant. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, well, I hope so. You should come here to visit sometime. Uh, I don't think so. How's Edward Snowden? <laughs> oh, he's good. Do you want to talk to him? He's right here. <laughs> I won't let you, fucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> you should come visit sometime. Stay with me. <laughs> we'll go take our shirts off and go look at bears together. <laughs> I will show you all the chokeholds I learned at uh, KGB. <laughs> I can paralyze you from waist up for five minutes. <laughs> Trust me, it's fun. But no gay stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I'll be honest, Russia's really low on my list. Oh, but it's beautiful. I, Russia's really we low. We can take a river cruise down the Volga or the Dnieper. Uh, I just want to let you know Russia's way down on the list of countries I want to go. there at the ocean at Vladivostok. <laughs> right. I like to gaze at things. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to go hang out with Edward Snowden and Pussy Riot. <laughs> and a bear. He'll be there, too. Okay, President Putin, I appreciate it. Okay, I hope this works out. <laughs> okay, I'm President Putin. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was really good. Very nice. Yeah. yeah.